Hello guys and welcome to the first video of my new tutorial series. As most of you may already know the ability and skill tree system one, so that is what we're going to create. And one thing I should mention before starting is that we are going to do the series using the latest Unreal Engine version which is 4.15.0 and I would suggest you also download that in case you haven't already because I will try to show you the new features especially blueprint maps and sets and we will hopefully use them in the system all right so let's start the engine wait for it to load up and we are going to start a new project blueprint third person with starter content enabled which we can call skill system and I will also call it tutorial so I don't get confused with my second project and I'll hit create project and once that's loaded up I'll just quickly minimize it because there are some assets that I'm going to use for that project first one is the infinity blade adversaries so we'll add that to the project and select our skill system tutorial and do the same thing with the infinity blood effects which we will use to create some beautiful looking particle effects for abilities so we'll also add that feel free to pause the video here and uh, skip to when that's added to the project all right now i've added both the infinity blade adversaries and the effects to my project and now we'll create our folder structure here so create a new folder called skill system and since we will mostly work inside of this folder we can set this color to something like a bright yellow and open that up inside here we'll create a new folder called blueprints and another one for characters then we'll go to our third person bp blueprints and We'll expand the skill system here, drag the third person character into our characters and the third person game mode into our blueprints. Right. Let's rename the third person character to skill character. So we know it's our custom one. And we will do the same thing with our third person game mode. So call that skill system game mode or something. Let's also open up that game mode here and we will hit the plus sign for the player controller here create a new one inside of our skill system and blueprints that we'll call skill player controller hit ok so we've got that one for now let's close it and we will implement that in the next episode probably just so we've got that out of the way and let's actually check whether in our world settings the game mode override is set to our skill system game mode otherwise that won't work the next thing here is that we don't want to use the default third person character but a custom one with some animations and I will now show you how you can get your hands on some very good characters and animations for free so just open up any browser you want to use and go to mixamo.com you will need an Adobe ID to continue, but you can create one for free, so that should not be a problem. And you'll need to log in, then you can go to the store. Here we first want to choose a character, so go to the Characters tab. And you will see lots of characters that we can use. For the skill system we want someone who looks a bit like a mage. And I will use this one here. So if you found your character just click it once and a little preview of it will load up here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Then we will hit add to my assets. It says it has been added to your assets and if you then want to download it you just go to my assets, select the character and hit Q download. Format will be FBX and the pose will be the T pose. And hit Q download once again. It needs a bit of processing, but then it will say your download is available. 
and then you should just see that download button under the status tab here hit that and it will hopefully be downloaded already got a character for free and the best thing about Mixamo is that they also have a lot of free animations that you can choose from and download so that's what we're going to do next we will head over to the store once again and we don't even have to search every animation we want individually but we can just use a pack especially the pro magic pack since we are doing an ability and skill tree system so click that and you will preview the animations on the character you've just added to your assets but we don't want to use every of those if you want to see which animations are included in the pack just hit customize pack and it will show all of them we actually don't need every single animation here for example we will use the standing idol but we don't need standing idol too so neither we need crouch idol crouch to standing basically everything related to crouch we can remove standing block idle we can keep standing block react large we can also keep that standing block end and start idle 03 and 04 we don't need those idle to crouch and we don't need jumping we won't include jumping in our little system then we only need one death animation and not four that are in here we'll just use react death backwards and can remove forward left and right we don't need any of the react large animations but we can maybe use react small from front remove react small from back and react small from left and right we don't need standing run back or standing run left or right basically only run forward Sprint forward we also don't need, we just use walk and run. Turns we don't need, walk back we can also remove as well as walk left and right. So in the end you should have all of the magic attacks, an idle animation, block idle, and start and react large, then death, react small, run and walk. If you've got those you can just hit add to my assets and the pack will be added to your assets go back to my assets and they will not show on the characters but anim animations one thing that is really important when using Mixamo animations is that some of them have to be modified for example let's have a look at our standing walk forward as you can see our character will always snap back to the original location walk a bit forward and then snap back that's not so good if you want to use it in Unreal Engine Instead, what you want to do is just scroll up here and check the in place. So our character just plays the animation but doesn't move here. That will be handled by the engine. Do the same thing with run forward in place. And that should do it. Then you'll just need to hit add to your assets and they will hopefully appear here. If you just update the page once, you will see all of the animations here and what we can do here is just check very briefly if they're still in place no they're not so let's check it again and run forward yeah we need to check in place as well as for walk forward then we can select all of the animations we have here by clicking that little button deselect the whole pack and hit Q download format will be FBX 30 frames per second and you can choose without skin then hit Q download and they will all appear in your list now and you need to download every of those individually okay I think you can do that yourself so I'll just see you when you've got all of that animations downloaded as you can see I've got all of that animations and already put those into some folders so we are ready to import here in our characters folder let's add a new folder called mesh open that up okay and so let's drag in our character.fbx and it will ask for some options here just leave everything as it is import once it's finished it will say no smoothing groups were found but that should not be a problem if we have a look at our character 
you will see that she's oddly transparent. So let's check our material and we will select opaque, hit apply, close it. And if we then open up our character again, we will notice that she's looking fine now. All right. So now we've got that. Let's actually keep in mind that it generated a skeleton called character skeleton. In our characters, we'll now create a new folder called animations. And let's add a new subfolder here called movement. Open that up. And we will import the standing run forward in place.fbx and the standing walk forward.fbx. Then again, something will pop up here. It wants you to select a skeleton. Let's use character skeleton and import all. If we then have a look at our animations, you see that everything works fine. We can actually rename those. So just walk and the other one is run. Also, I will drag in the standing idle and select the character skeleton import rename that to idle then I create another subfolder called reactions and here we want to get the react small from front, react death, block start, block react large, block idle and block end. Drag all of those in and again select the character skeleton, import all, save those. Let's actually have a look at some animations. Yeah, they look fine. Then there is one additional folder we need which is text. Open that up and here we will import all of the attacks. I already renamed those to attack 0 until 12. Feel free to do that as well. Drag those in. Select the character skeleton, import all. And now you'll see that we have some lovely attacking animations here that will be very useful for us. Okay. What we will do with our attack animations is select all of them and then create an a montage just so we can work with montages later and in our movement we will create a new animation blend space 1d for the character skeleton called bs underscore idle walk run sure to spell that correctly and let's open up the axis setting here, horizontal axis. Name will be speed, maximum value 375, number of grid divisions is 4. And that's fine. Then we'll drag idle to the very left, walk to the first grid here at around 90. And then we will search for run and drag that at the very right here. Okay, close that. Afterwards, we will go into our animations folder and create a new animation blueprint of the parent class anim instance and for the skeleton character skeleton called character anim bp. Open that up. Here in our file and animation post, we will use a slot, default slot, then add state machine that we can call default. Open that up in our entry, we will add a new state, idle, walk, and run. Open that up. Here we'll search for our BS idle walk run. Connect that to the result. It will ask for a speed. Promote that to a variable called speed. 
go to the event graph and on event blueprint update animation we want to try get pawn owner get velocity and vector length set our speed to that value connect it up here then we can hit compile save close the character and mvp go to a characters skill character in a viewport we will now assign our character mesh and you can scale that up or down if you want to under the animation tab we have to specify our NMBP and now you can see that she's idling around if we were to hit play here you can see our character is moving around just fine all right that's it for our first video just creating the project adding some assets and finding some animations that we can use in the next one we will set up some proper mmorpg style camera and controls so see you in the next episode